This is a video demonstration of Ecstasy, a lightweight tool for test selection. Alice is a developer. She is working on a very large project, Apache Camel. When Alice makes changes to the code base, she has to make sure that her changes do not break any existing functionality by running the regression test suite. But the problem is that the project has many, many tasks, and Alice has to wait at least 20 minutes for all 5,130 tests to finish executing and for her to get any feedback on her changes. However, Alice has an idea. She recently heard about this great new tool, Ecstasy. Ecstasy is a lightweight and scalable Java library for regression test selection. Ecstasy computes the dependencies of each test and determines which ones need to be run after a code change. So, rather than running the whole test suite, which can take a long time, Ecstasy will only run the test whose behavior may be affected by the most recent changes. Using Ecstasy is very easy. In this example, we will show how to use it with the Maven project. To use Ecstasy, Alice only has to make small modifications to her Maven configuration file, pom.xml. She has to add Ecstasy to the list of plugins used by Maven. Like so. Then, Alice can run her tests the way she always does. Note that the first time Ecstasy is used, all tests will be executed in order to compute their dependencies. So, the first time Ecstasy is used, it will take as much time as running all tests. However, in subsequent runs, only the tests that are affected by recent changes will be executed. So now that Ecstasy has finished executing all tests and computing their dependencies, Alice can go ahead and make modifications to the code. Suppose that she opens this class cached output stream and makes some modifications to the method write. This method takes a byte array and adds it to the data in the current stream. If the total length exceeds a certain threshold, some of this data is written to a file with this method page to file stream. Now, suppose that Alice changes this statement here to increment by one rather than add the length of the byte array. Now, if Alice runs the tests, Ecstasy is only going to select the tests that actually are affected by the change she just made. We can see here that Ecstasy only selected 22 tests, which are the ones affected by the change made to this class. And we can see that four of them have started failing because of this change that Alice introduced. Notice that running these 22 tests only took 18 seconds. If Alice had run the whole test suite, she would have had to wait 20 minutes. Now, suppose that we change this statement back to add the length of the byte array. If we run the tests again, Ecstasy should select the same 22 tests. As expected, Ecstasy selected 22 tests and all of them are passing again. Suppose that Alice makes no change and runs the tests again. In this case, because no change has been made, Ecstasy will not select any tests to be run, as you can see here. Though this example only showed integration with Maven, Ecstasy is just as easy to use with Ant, another popular build system. Ecstasy can also be invoked programmatically from any Java code. We are also in the process of integrating Ecstasy with other JVM languages such as Scala and Groovy. Moreover, Ecstasy has been evaluated on more than 30 open source projects with a combined total of more than 700,000 tests and 5 million lines of code. It has been tested on 615 revisions. The results show that on average, for test suites that run over a minute, Ecstasy saves 85% in terms of tests executed and 66% in terms of time. Thank you for watching this video demonstration. For more information, please visit the tool website or contact us by email at the following two addresses.